Hello, hello, hello. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, hello, welcome, welcome. Let me share the feed on my Facebook first. Huh? Hello, welcome, mm. welcome. Okay, so that I can see your comments. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, today just do something a little bit more interactive plus some uh, materials spend. Uh. So yesterday I didn't manage to do a live video because uh, uh, busy whole day and plus uh, playing with my kid, uh, playing with my daughter. So yesterday never come online. Uh. So hope you never miss me, uh, those people who, who expecting me to come online. Uh, sorry, I didn't turn up online. Uh, I was busy uh, with something. Lah. Okay, so today is 25th of June. Okay, um, yep, doing another live show today. Uh, today, got to prepare some, some things to talk about already. Lah, oh. So, yeah, feel free to interact at the same time. Uh, say hello if you're in here so that I know you're watching. Uh, then uh, feel free to type anything in the comments if you want to ask or anything like that. So, hey, by the way, change house again. Uh. <laughs> this one is uh, Orlando Bloom's house. This one is the, the, the who? Uh, Orlando Bloom. Uh. You all know who is he? Uh, I don't know. Uh. Uh, the Pirate of Caribbean, that, that guy. Uh, Orlando Bloom's house. Nice, right? Oh, uh, not bad. Uh. Yeah. I managed to find his house online. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hello, Celeste, my wife. Long-term supporter, top fan. Uh, speaking about top fan, yesterday, yesterday, uh, yesterday, yeah, yesterday, have have uh, had lunch with a uh, top fan. Ah, uh. <laughs> well, hey, that top that top fan also treat me lunch. Eh. the top fan haven't come in yet. Don't worry. Okay, today, uh, I will share a bit of um, uh, uh, uh market news. Uh, bounce back and forth lah. Oh. So we all know um this uh 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 this what uh, uh election is coming so you will also see a lot of uh, good news coming out. Hey you hello Vicky wow, just now just talking about you only. Oh I say uh uh top fan uh, uh yesterday had lunch with a top fan the top fan treat me lunch also <laughs> Today interactive a bit lah. Eh, today mix mix lah. Oh, interactive plus I prepare some things to talk about. So feel free to type in the comment, make yourself comfortable, chit chat a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Happy yeah, uh, Vicky. Yeah lah. So the election is coming. Then we will also see a lot of uh, new new uh, uh, um, uh, news lah. A lot of news happening ah. Uh. Such as this one. Wow, five year master plan unveiled for two GRC and Hong Ka North SMC. So you will always see new improvement plan being announced, uh, especially in a uh, township. Uh. So they will they will give some you know good planning, uh, good improvement. They will tell you what's happening. Hey, hello, 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 meeting. Hello, hello. Hey, thank you, thank you, Vicky. Super tight. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, still haven't topped out yet. Huh? Okay. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. So today, I uh, prepared a bit of a market news to update you all. I was saying that election is coming. So these few days, uh, for sure, uh, you will see a lot of uh, exciting new plans happening. Uh, right. Wow. I see. Uh, Chochukang, GRC, Hongka, uh, North. Uh, SMC, where else are? Uh? Uh, Jalan Besa. Wow, these are the areas that the government is taking care of you. Uh. Uh, government is telling you got, got stuff coming out already. Right? Another one, uh, Tampanese, also same thing. Five-year master plan going to become a uh, eco town. Eco town meaning what? I also don't know. Eh. Eco town means what? Uh? Lesser car, more cycling path, more road widening. All these things, right? So, um, oh, I still got what? Uh, 200 blocks will be coated with cool coating repainting. Uh, there will also be what? Uh, vertical vegetable farm. Uh. 
Ah, I think it's good. Ah. All this improvement is coming. Very good, very good. Ah, so pay attention to the news. If you are not sure what's going on in your neighborhood, very easy. They will paste a lot of materials in your in your void deck, the notice board. Ah, even nowadays, the leaf got the electronic uh, notice board, right? Ah, so they will tell you, hey, I'm going to do this, this, this for your estate. Ah. Ah, so you know what you mean. Ah. Hey, so you know what they mean. Ah. Ah, okay. So improvement coming ready. Improvement coming ready. They will tell you, oh, a lot of improvement to your, to your estate. Ah. So you're unsure of what kind of improvement coming to your estate, right? Very easy. Just go down to your void deck, see the notice board. Ah, my side, they're going to build a big playground. They're going to build a lot more shelter away. They're going to, I think, got two more bus services coming out or something. Ah. Hello, Iris. Uh, another top fan coming ready. <laughs> so I was saying, uh, election coming. Uh, uh, so there will be a lot of improvements. If you're not sure about all these improvements, right, go and see uh, 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 your void deck, your notice board. There will be a lot of uh, 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 notices ready. They will tell you, oh, we are going to do this. We are going to do this ready. Hey, hello, Genta. Hello, hello. Yeah, yesterday no show. I, uh, just now in the beginning, I mentioned ready. Uh, uh, you sang <laughs> uh, so Sorry for those who miss me. Uh. Yeah, because uh, yesterday, wow, also same thing, uh, very packed. So I uh, wasn't able to come online yesterday. Then uh, very tired. Uh, I wasn't in the very, not in the right zone to do live show. Because uh, live show also need to keep talking, talking. Wow, very tiring one. Eh. <laughs> so yesterday, wow, uh, appointment whole day. Uh, so very packed. Then uh, playing with my kids. So that's why I didn't come online. Yeah. Okay. So announced already. Uh, a lot more good news coming up already. Yeah. Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, Tampani is going to be Eco Town, uh, Hong Kong North SMC, Jalan Besar, uh, still got what? Hong Kong North, uh, Chuchukang, GRC. Wow, this look at this mega playground. Eh, uh, this happening, lah. This happening at my, at my, at my place downstairs, really. Right? So, if you're not sure what's going on in the estate, right? Very easy. Just go to your void deck notice board, go and read. Ah, uh, the, the people already paste all the things happening, really. Yeah. Okay, so the third piece, second piece of news, lah, not, not third piece, second piece of news, uh, private housing supply cut due to COVID, okay? Yeah, lah, my wife tell me already, I need to accompany my girl, uh, my girl miss me. Yesterday, usually she sleep quite early, lah, huh? so yesterday never sleep, sleep, eh, never sleep so early, so need to play with her a bit. Wow, a lot of uh, new uh, 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 land coming up, leh, second half of the year. Second half got a uh, year, right? Got uh, a few pieces of land pieces uh, confirm this really. I think only got three. Uh. Meaning to say the uh, government also monitoring the situation. Uh. Definitely the demand side will be lesser. So they also want to control to make sure that the property cycle is sustainable, right? So one way government control property, right, is through supply, right? If let's say uh, government still push out a lot of supply, right, it will cause uh, uh, prices to fall, uh, right? Basic economics, uh. High supply, low demand, price drop. Uh, high demand, low supply, price increase. This one basic. Uh. So one of the way that government uh, increase, uh, uh, one of the way uh, government make sure that the property cycle is sustainable is through uh, uh, government land sales, right? Of course, we all know uh, there's more uh, hard-handed measures will be the cooling measures, uh, uh, all those ABSD and all these things. Uh. But another way, is also through the tapering of the uh, supply, government land sales, okay? Yeah, thank you, Iris. I'm sure your husband also a good father. <laughs> right, thank you. Yeah, yeah yesterday my girl sleep during afternoon. So cannot sleep early. So very good, hey, very good piece of land coming out. Leh. I think second half of the year, right? I show you where is the land parcel is. Ah. So all this information, right, I keep sharing with viewers already. I keep sharing my audience already. Singapore, right, is probably the, 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 the best country uh, or the uh, few countries uh, that tell you, uh, wow, this piece of land uh, going to coming out already. Uh, they tell you very fast in the fans one. Always, always tell you things very transparently one. So that's something that I like. Uh. Everything you can find online already. You go URA and see, uh, uh, go and see second release of second half 2020 government land sales program. Okay. Uh, date published 24th June. Okay. So over here, we'll tell you what kind of land is being uh, released, what kind of use is for it, commercial space, hotel space, residential, and all these things. Okay. So I show you the, the, the three confirmed sites. Huh? So over here, right, there's 
uh, when you click into the appendix, uh, you can see all the things happening already. Go, so over here, you can see uh, there's three residential sites. One is the what? North Dumberland Road. Uh, this one near Farrer Park MRT. Amokyo Avenue 1. This one near uh, Mayfair, eh, Mayflower Station. All right. Number three, Tengah Garden Walk, EC. Wow, Tengah, leh. Tengah New Town, New. First EC. First EC happening in uh, Tengah already. Release ready, release ready. Release for sale, lah. Release for sale. Release for sale meaning to say, ah, uh, 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 government, ah, uh, Zhenghu, ah, uh, Zhenghu, ah, uh, open up to the developers to go and bid. Okay. So the estimated launch date is around October, November this year. Okay. Meaning to say, ah, uh, they will open up to for the developers to make a bidding. I believe, lah. I believe, ah, uh, probably because of the, uh, uh, uh present, uh, COVID situation. Likelihood is that the pricing for this, right, is going to be, uh, not as scary as last time. Meaning to say it's going to be probably remain the same. Uh, maybe just a little bit of increase, right? Uh, so I show you where is the exact, exact uh, land. Uh, where is the exact land site? Okay. The first one is the North, what? North, North, North Tumber land. Uh. Uh, this one is near the Farrer Park MRT one. Okay. Okay, you see, uh, Farrer Park MRT is here. Okay. This piece of land that is launching uh, this year is going to be here. I'm right here. Uh, you can see my cursor. Wow, this one also very prime. Just next to the Farrer Park MRT, as it uh, is this project already. Government land sales, as we all know, uh, government land sales is all 99 years. Uh, don't have freehold one. Uh. If you want freehold new launch, it's going to be the previous on block. That means the developer buy over existing piece of on block project A, uh, buy over existing piece of freehold project, then tear down and rebuild, relaunch, then it's going to be freehold. Government land sales, no more freehold already. Okay, just to take note. Uh. So if you are if you are uh, if you are expecting waiting for this plot right, this plot right uh going to be released October or November this year. But when is it going to launch? Typically, uh, it's going to be one year later. One year later, meaning to say right, if you if you are if let's say like, you stay near near the, this area or something, if you want to aim for this particular plot right, probably it's going to be launched October or November next year. Okay, so this is the first plot I'm talking about. Uh, next to Farrer Park MRT. No, no, what? Uh, no, dumb, no, no, Dumberland Road. Lah. Ah, okay, next to Red Cross, a hey, uh, Farrier Park MRT. Lah, okay, as it is this plot of land ready. Very, very prime. But one thing to net, take note, nah, this is a pink color zoning. Can see or not? 4.2 gross plot ratio. Uh, okay, when you click on the land, right? As, I, as, as I'm showing you over here in the, in the URA website, you click on the land, right? It can tell you the gross plot ratio, the planning, all these things are very technical things. You can go and see already. Click on the legend. You see pink color one, residential with commercial at first story. So over here indicated already, right? It's going to be a mixed development. Lah. So at the first story, right? Got some uh, shops and everything. Lah. Okay. So anything you all want to ask or, or, or even to comment, just feel free to type inside so that uh, I know you are still there. Uh. <laughs> okay. Try to make a bit more interactive uh, because uh, uh, past two days, I realized that uh, interactive quite fun. I uh, can chit chat with you all. But also uh, sometimes I never prepare topic. I also feel very paisy. <laughs> Nothing to share with you all. <laughs> okay. But I think through our interaction, uh, asking Q&A also not bad. Uh. Some things you all, you all can, can get to know also. So this piece of land is uh, right next to Farrer Park MRT, pink color one. Uh, residential with commercial at first story. Okay. Yeah. Um, one thing to note, right? There is a commercial space about 1,005 uh, square meter. That's about 15,000 uh, 15, 15, square feet. Lah. Just nice for maybe a, 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 a rows of shop. Uh, probably expected that few. Lah. If you go and see Farrer Park, it should be that, that few shops. Lah. Maybe like cafe, la, uh, bakery, la, dentist, la, all these things. Very basic stuff. Uh, may, I don't think there will be big uh, supermarket because the, the supermarket, the land size is going to be big. Res, uh, Kenta asking, uh, uh, residential with commercial means not gated condo. Okay, uh, residential with, uh, residential with co uh, commercial, right, is still considered gated because usually, right, the upstairs, uh, the downstairs is going to be the shops, but the upstairs is still the condo. Meaning to say, right, you will still need the, the access pass all there, right, to tap inside and then go into your, your condo. So outsider uh, can outsider can access the commercial outside, but outsider cannot access your residential condo uh, facilities. 
So they were likelihood lah. I I'm guessing lah. Likelihood maybe on the second floor or the third floor, right? Is the facilities area. Then your your residents can only go into the the the, the second floor and the third floor through the through the side gate. So uh, places like where ah, ah centuries ah centuries you can see already ah centuries downstairs is like a shopping mall right? But uh, people cannot go up ah. Hey, hi, listen, hello, hello. Is this part uh of Fairer Uptown Mall Plain? Uh, Fair Uptown. Okay, I know which one you're talking about. Actually, uh, uh, Uptown and Fairer uh, is next to a uh, temple, and this plot of land, right? Uh, this this thin strip of land, right, is very, um, how do I say, ah, uh, the very very uh, uh constrained, uh. If you look at this piece of land over here, right, Uptown and Fairer, right, got one side, ah, uh, is facing the the Indian temple. All right. Although it's just next to the uh uh Fair Park MRT, um the location itself is also very strong. Same thing also 99 year lease. Um uh but but uh, I'm saying but uh, uh this piece of land, right? If I do remember correctly, yeah, uh, um uh, the maintenance fee is very, very high because right, got one building, right, is the service apartment. The developer is running a service apartment, meaning to say they they are renting out to 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 expats ah. Then got one side right is the is the residential is the condo. So the the facilities right is split into half one. One side is for the residential uh a service apartment people. One side is for the for the condo people. So uh uptown and Ferrer downstairs I remember correctly also don't eh also don't have a shop ah. Yeah also don't have a shop. Downstairs is more like the car park already. So this one uh uptown and Ferrer right is going to top soon already. I think two zero. Because of COVID, got some delay lah. So I think uh one thing is also that I, uh previously yeah uh, I think before COVID I brought a customer go and see uptown and Ferrer the two bedroom. The perspective is very attractive and the overall quantum right is still very uh sweet lah. But when we are talking about it, then uh one thing is uh one of the concern one of the main concern that he has is the maintenance fee. The maintenance fee is a bit high lah. Oh, so if let's say you're buying for rental for for investment, ah, uh, maybe, ah, uh, after you net off the maintenance, ah, uh, maintenance fee, ah, uh, I remember it's like five hundred or six hundred, ah, uh, for the two bedroom. I can't remember the exact figure. Yeah, I double check. I will let you know. Given the choice, would you invest in the residential or commercial? At least I'm asking. Ah, <laughs> okay. Commercial retail, right, is something that I am very fearful, ah. Uh, to to advise people to touch or even myself to touch, commercial retail lah, commercial retail. Why why I say that lah? Commercial retail ah, shop space ah. Uh, nowadays lah, because of the digitalization and all these thing ah. Uh, if you go and walk on the Orchard Road post COVID ah, I'm not talking about COVID ah. Even before COVID ah, weekday you go and walk at the Orchard Road. Some of the places ah, not as packed one eh. And then, uh, you can see that the 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 what ah, Orchard Road Committee ah, they've been trying uh very hard to uh bring back the crowd, because um it feels a bit uh how to say ah uh old already ah. I don't know what's the feeling, yeah like seems like the tourists nowadays they they feel it, it seems like they are going more towards the marina that side, marina that side very vibrant eh. Maybe because of casino lah, right? People go there gamble, then after that they win money ah, they go and buy branded goods. And lose money, ah, uh, they go and uh, sit sit one side and drink koi. <laughs> they got koi, right? But, eh, not koi. Uh, 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 what's that? Gong cha, gong cha. Yeah. So, so the the Chinese are uh, gamblers, ah. Uh, you know, ah, uh, uh, Chinese like to gamble, lah. Uh. So a lot of uh, uh, PRC Chinese over there, uh, If you if you walk walk uh, there during the weekdays, you will know, right? So if they gamble, they win money on the day, uh, they go and buy branded goods. If they lose, ah, uh, they go and buy, ah, uh, gong cha, sit sit one side and ah, uh, you know. <laughs> <laughs> cry for a while before they go home. No, I'm just joking. I don't know what what is there. Ah, yeah, maybe to them, ah, lose money also nothing, lah. Just they just carry on. So if you're talking about uh investing in a commercial retail, right? Uh, because of uh dig digitalization, I think the COVID brings about a greater uh, uh speed of change, ah. I think all along this problem is there already, but the COVID brings about a greater speed of change. So I would say that uh retail, ah. Hmm, I, I don't think it's very good. Uh, commercial retail lah for the next um 10 years. Uh, I don't think unless you're you are offering something uh, that that people cannot buy online one, people have to go down to your place to experience it. Ah, uh, then that's something that okay, you are very sure that 
uh, even with dig digitalization, uh, you are not afraid. But as a, a, a commercial uh, uh, investor, uh, mm, don't know, I think it's a bit risky uh, to buy uh, commercial retail, right? If you're talking about this, uh, um, um, uh, this plot of land downstairs, if you're given a choice, I would still prefer probably something more stable. Uh, everyone will need a place to stay. Uh. Even work from home, you need a home to work from, right? Right, you need a home to stay, stay inside to 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 you know, uh, look at your laptop, conduct your Zoom meeting and all these things, right? Hey, hello, Gosing. What do you think of iQuadrant? Wow, this one you you missed out the few days videos. Uh, someone actually mentioned about uh them. Uh, they are actually uh a very good educational provider. Uh. I am I must be very careful with my words. Uh. this one public. Uh, cannot say me how say uh. <laughs> I quadrant. I quadrant. They are very good. Very good. They are, they are educational company, right? They they have a very good, uh, solid uh, courses going on, and uh, they provide good value for property uh, uh investors wannabes. They provide very uh, strong uh, fundamentals. Um, one thing I like about is their community spirit and the network, which uh the founders themselves all uh, try to upkeep lah. So um, if you don't mind paying three four thousand to join the membership, I think uh, yeah, over the long run, perhaps because of the knowledge that you have gained from them, right? You the money you will make back from from from, uh, from property investment ready lah. Put it this way. So for me, I I I only went to the preview and listen. Um, I know what they are doing roughly lah. I don't know the exact details, but I know what they are doing. Uh, industrial, industrial, uh, B one getting high rental you, uh, get the loan barrier, get the you know someone to to front it and something, um, pros and cons are pros and cons are, but I rather that uh you know I own the property outright myself lah if I can, uh, so I quadrant uh, uh members high membership club lah put it this way uh good value good value, uh go and join if you have the spare money, uh go and learn more from them. Hey, hello, Sean. Hello, hello. How's your how's your married life? <laughs> Long time no see. Which one has better opportunity for appreciation? Resale HDB or resale condo? Assuming both are uh, same location. Okay, we don't talk about resale. Okay, Sean, you're asking a very good question. Uh, uh, better for better opportunity for appreciation, right? Uh, resale HDB, uh, uh, resale HDB, right? I always share people. HDB, right, is State control, government one, government controlled property, meaning to say, uh, you own your HDB, you only own the air. Today I open my main door, everything outside belongs to government. The staircase, the leaf, the void deck, everything is the government. Okay, so this is the fundamental difference that a lot of people don't know. Ah, uh. HDB resale HDB and resale condo, both ninety nine years. Ah, uh, I make it easier. Resale HDB ninety nine years, resale condo ninety nine years. Which one? Has more potential for profit. Uh, for profit, uh, I will say definitely a uh, resale condo. Why? Because number one, the control is in your hands, right? Mm, I always talk about control. Uh, control. Uh, that means uh, 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 whether or not I can do on block, whether or not I can paint my block white color, blue color, pink color, whether or not I can sell to Indian, Malay, Chinese, whether or not uh, uh, I need to fulfill the fire MOP. All these things. Uh, so if you talk about resale HDB, uh, uh, other than the uh, executive mansion net, executive apartment and uh, five room, the pricing probably is still holding well after the peak of a uh, drop uh, from uh, 2013. But overall, in general, if you look at three room, if you look at four room, all the price index dropped like crazy. Uh, right? So if you ask me like uh, which one is uh, better for appreciation, definitely uh, should answer uh, is everything. I just assuming a very, very blank one, uh, very, very general one. Uh, assuming both look same location, of assuming both same age, assuming both about same size, same price, uh, resale HDB and resale condo. Then for me, if budget allows, definitely I will go for uh, a resale condo because uh, number one, uh, the title, fundamental, the title is different really. Uh, in 99 years condo, right, I own both the air and the land. The land, I'm owning it collectively with the rest of the owners, even though it's only for 99 years. And typically in Singapore context, right, at towards the age uh, 25 to 35, that is when all the owners will start talking about on block, right? 
So that's where that they got the chance to exit out of their old and aging property. Whereas for HDB, right, um, they will have to wait for government to do SERS. SERS is the equivalent of on block for HDB. Selective on block uh, uh, renewal scheme. I don't know why. I don't know what it means really. But SERS is, is the on block for, for uh, 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 HDB. Lah. But only the government can buy from you. That you, you cannot allow uh, developers to, to come in to participate. Why is that so? Because government wants to control the pricing for HDB. HDB is for affordable housing. It's not for speculation. It's not for making money. So government already tell you, HDB for affordable housing for the masses. Okay? So this statement alone, right, you know what is their agenda and objective already. So if you're talking about making money, uh, we sell HDB, uh, unlikely, la, unlikely. La. I'll put it this way. Very unlikely. La. Okay? Yep. Hey, hello, Belinda. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for joining. Right. So I was sharing about the second half of the, of the three plots of land that's coming up. Uh, so uh, some questions coming in, all, all these things. So oh, very good, very good. Keep it coming. Very interactive. Huh? So moving on to the second plot. Um, so if you have missed on the earlier one, right? Don't worry. After this whole thing ends, right? It will become a, a post. Then you can, you can go and watch the replay. Okay? Not to worry, uh, you won't miss out anything. It will be very, uh, 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 it's all live. Uh, it's all on the Facebook. Uh, don't worry, you can go and catch up some of the videos that I posted past few days or so. Hey, you're welcome, Sean. You're welcome. Thanks. I uh, uh, hope uh, this can uh, help you to uh, clarify some ideas as well. Hello, Melvin. Hello, Melvin. Okay. So second plot of land, right, is this one, Amokyo Avenue 1. Okay. This one is near to Mayflower Station. Mayflower Station is part of the Thompson East Coast Line, which is still under construction. The first three stations open already from Woodland, that side, uh, all the way down to CBD, then CBD uh, eastwards towards Changi. So the, the three stations already open, uh, Woodland, Woodland South, and Woodland don't know what. Uh. So the three stations for Thompson East Coast Line already open. It will be open in phases, slowly opening up towards the CBD area. So this part of land, right, is going to be located um, near to Mayflower Station. It's going to be around here, all right? Based on the map that we are seeing, right? Uh, let me see. Mayflower, ah, here, this piece of land. Hey, how come a bit? Is it correct? Uh? Yeah, I think so, it's correct. Uh? Ah, this piece of land, okay? I just, just to share with you, uh, uh, Mayflower Station, Mayflower, uh, Mayflower Station is here. Can you see? Uh, Mayflower Station is still under construction. I think this piece of uh, uh, this this plot right will also be in high demand because why? Amokyo uh, got a while don't have new launch coming out already. So high chance are uh, people aiming for uh, Amokyo project right. This one will be in high demand, hot, hot demand, uh, hot demand. The last uh, new launch that happened in Amokyo, I think the newest one uh, is uh, Panorama. Panorama already launched in uh, back in 2014 already. So it's been quite a time, quite some time already. Lah. So if you're talking about Amokyo, people want to buy a brand new condo, right? The, the next one will be this plot of land, Amokyo Avenue one. Uh, like I say again, uh, the bidding will be on uh, 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 October or, or November this year. Bidding for the developer, uh, okay? That means they, they, they go and bid, uh, they go and bid how much they want to pay for this particular land. So in Singapore context, why property price is always like gradually increase uh, because of our unique system of the bidding. Uh, right? Of course, developer, they, they, they want to secure the project, they will bid high price, right? So if they bid high price, means that they have to sell high price, right? right? So of course, developers are not stupid. Uh, they want to make sure that whatever they bid, they can sell, right? Based on the market sentiment, based on the market demand. So this particular part of land, right? I would think is very hot because Amokyo don't have so much uh, new projects already. The last one was uh, Panorama, which is launched in uh, 2014, TOP in 2017. So if this one is going to be selling, right, it's going to be launched in 2021, okay? Because this year they beat, ma. this year they beat, next year they sell. Usually it's like that. Usually one year later, they will, they will start to sell. So 2021, they launch uh, three years to build. Likelihood is that this one is going to be one, two, three, four, 2025 TOP. Uh, this part of this project, uh, go, likelihood is that it's going to be TOP in 2025. Okay, so people who stay in Amokyo or uh, people who want to buy Amokyo project, uh, this is another plot of land that you can look out for. Amokyo Central, I don't think got space really. This is more towards the Amokyo 
uh, West already lah. If there is such if there's such a term, Amokyo West, <laughs> more towards the 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 left hand side already lah. Uh, not so not so near the Amokyo Central. This part is more towards the Mayflower MRT one. Okay. There is still a few more plots. Uh. You, you see the government, how they do, they very smart one. They keep a lot of prime land, right? Slowly, bit by bit, release out. Okay? So this one, right, um, based on the URA uh, uh, estimated units, right, it's going to be a small project because only 370 units. Estimated, uh, estimated 370 units for this project over at uh, Amokyo Avenue 1. Oh, forgot to mention just now that one also. The, the plot right beside uh, Farrer Park MRT, right? No Dumberland Road, lah, the plot. Lah, also only got 385 units. Considered a small project. Mid, mid small, lah, mid small. Lah. Uh, small, maybe less than 250. Then this is considered mid, lah, mid, lah, mid size project. Nowadays, lah, with all the mega launch project coming out, we are really spoiled for choice. Lah. What part of Star 1004, uh, uh, 1004 units, Treasures 2000 units, Affinity. Gardens, what well, all the big size projects are. Ah. So we are really spoiled for choice. So it's been a while we see this kind of size uh, project. Ah. Uh, so uh, Amokyo Avenue 1, 370 units only. Wow, Chang Dao Luan, Chang Dao Luan. I think it should be high demand, high demand. Uh, Northern, Northumberland Road, the one beside Farrer Park MRT, also same thing, 385 units only. Uh, quite, quite, quite rare in stock. Ah. The, bit, the third piece that I'm covering today, Tengah Garden Walk EC. Wow. First EC in Tengah. First EC in Tengah. This one also very interesting. Okay. Uh, it's going to be... Wow. Just, just now, I, I'm doing my research. I try, I, find, I try to find, cannot find. <laughs> I go and click the URE there. I know where is the exact site. Okay. This one uh, is a triangle piece of land as seen over here. Tengah Walk EC. Okay. All right. It's, it is one of the first... Is not one of the la. It is uh, It is the first EC offering that is happening in Tengah Town. Okay, this is relatively near to the Tengah Plantation MRT. I show you the map uh. Okay, so this is this is where the Garden Vale is. HDB uh, This HDB uh, uh, project name is called Garden Vale. Can see uh, Garden Vale over here. Uh, based on the URA map right, it's just beside. Oh, just beside Garden Vale. So likelihood is going to be this piece uh. Okay, this piece that, that I'm, I'm, I'm screwing uh, right now. So, uh, Tengah Plantation is over here. So, likelihood the developer will create a side gate probably over here, Tengah Walk uh, Road, lah, this piece of road. So, if you're talking about walking distance to MRT, uh, my, maybe uh, over here there will be one exit point. So, maybe it will be about three to five minutes walk from the EC, from this EC to Tengah Plantation, Tengah Plantation MRT. Okay. So this is the first EC that's going to be launched uh, in Tengah. Okay. Then uh, total size uh, or the total units that's going to be releasing, right? Is uh, 615 units. 615 units. Something that we are very familiar with. Uh, Mid-size project. Uh, mid, mid to big size project. <laughs> Last time 615 is considered big project. Eh? <laughs> Last time. Uh, well, before all these mega project come out, uh, 615, hey, decent. Eh? Quite, quite, a, quite, quite a big project already. Then the, the trend of big project come out was when uh, uh oh yeah my, my first memory is the ferry caught on block deleted deleted I think close to one thousand units ah uh. oh, damn scary uh. then I remember doing that project last time right the floor plan ah uh. oh, so many variation of floor plan see until tau see until headache uh. <laughs> so uh, nowadays wow over thousand one is very normal lah uh. so six one five uh, last time is like oh consider big but now okay lah make six one five square feet normal normal. Okay, so this is the three plot of confirmed list that's coming up year end, October, November, 2020. Um, if you are interested to find out more details and all these things, uh, if you want to know uh, uh, your thoughts about it, feel free to comment. Uh, I show you my big, big face first really uh, because uh, basically today, just, just that's all I want to cover. Lah. That if you all have anything, you all want to interact with me, uh, comment a bit uh, or what, uh, just feel free to type. Lah. I'm watching. I can see your comment. Anything you all want to ask, can 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 let me know. Yeah. Uh, every time I, I go live, I only plan to do like uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, chop chop, then go to sleep ready. But good. I got interaction is good. Lah, so that I know you all are, are also very interested to find out more about properties and all these things. Yep. Uh, Melvin, this one is uh, Orlando, Orlando Bloom's house. Uh, Every day I change house, change house, ah, 
to, to let you see. <laughs> this one is uh, Orlando Bloom. Uh. You know who is Orlando Bloom or not? The Pirate of Caribbean, that guy. Uh. Uh, this one is his house. <laughs> okay. So if uh, there's not much things left to talk about or not much things to cover, right? Um, then uh, uh, let me see the comment. Any more people typing? Okay, 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 no problem, no problem. If there's not much things to cover or interact or talk about, uh, then uh, today, short and sweet, uh, 10.35 already, okay? Anything you want to, me to talk about, feel free to PM me, feel free to uh, put it in the comment. Then next few days, I got more ideas to talk, uh, share more content with you all, share more uh, good information with you all. Okay, all right, uh, 10.35. Good night, everyone. Sleep. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.